Good evening. Welcome to the Scotch Plains Family Board of Education Special Regular Meeting. Today is Wednesday, July 14th. Mrs. Saradaki, will you please call the roll? Mrs. Bauer? Here. Mrs. Boro? Here. Mrs. Brody? Here. Mrs. Suriana? Here. Mrs. Winkler? Here. Dr. Kolakowski? Here. Quorum is present. Thank you, Mrs. Saradaki. Please join me in the salute to the flag. Ready? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Prior to coming out into public, we held our executive session. During that meeting, we discussed the personnel agenda, the HIV report, and a legal effort. The, excuse me, a legal update. At this time, I would ask that everybody observe a moment of silence for Mr. David Cilio. He was our physical education and health teacher at Park Middle School who passed away on July 2nd. Dr. Mass, do you have a superintendent's message today? Yes, I have a short one this evening. So we had this special meeting because we had some settlements that have come to closure. And one of the settlements in particular has to do with our field lights, and we're anxious to be able to schedule that for our fall sports. Um, at the same time, that gave us the opportunity to get a little bit more business done. And one is to give Debbie Saradaki yet an encore last meeting <laughs> <laughs> while we introduce our new BA. Right now, he is currently our assistant BA, um, Christopher Jones. Yeah, so thank you. I'm excited to be here. It's so far been great. Uh, great administrative team here. Uh, it's really amazing backgrounds and the perspectives that great. And I just want to say thank you to Debbie. She's been, um, she's been here a long time and she's been welcoming to me. And, open and, and help me as much as she could and uh, I really appreciate that because uh, not all people do that when they do their jobs. So I just want to say thank you. And also we have James Canella with us this evening. He will be our assistant VA when Christopher vacates that position. James? Thank you. Um, everybody's been incredibly welcoming. Uh, this is uh, my, my first venture into the world of education. Um, I, but, I've been learning uh, tremendously from uh, my mentors, and Chris and, and Debbie, over the last couple of days. And thank you for being so welcome. That's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Debbie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So the New Jersey Open Public Meeting Law was enacted to ensure the right of the public to have advance notice of and to attend meetings of public bodies at which any business affecting their interests is discussed or acted upon. In accordance with the provisions of this act, the Scotch Plains Family Board of Education has caused notice of this meeting to be published by having the date, time, and place thereof posted at the Board of Education offices located at 512 Cedar Street, Scotch Plains, New Jersey, and having the notice of the meeting published in the Times, the Star Ledger, and by having the date, time, and place thereof posted on the district website, spfk12.org. We had four emails to the board, and they were addressed by the proper administrator, two of which were referred to executive session. At this time, the superintendent's report, Dr. Mast. So first, for one S, I move that the Board of Education affirms the superintendent's decisions in the HIP cases that we discussed on June 23rd. So Okay, thank you, Mrs. Winkler. Thank you, Mrs. Brody. Any question or discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstaining? Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Stowers is abstaining. I is absent. And one, two, three, four, five. Motion carries. Thank you, Dr. Vance. If you will proceed with the personnel agenda. Yes. I move that the Board of Education approves the superintendent's recommendations for personnel that was discussed in exact this evening. So, 
Mr. Sarah can we please call the vote? Can you, Mrs. Winkler, you have made the motion. Is there a second? Second for Thank you, Mrs. Ford. Any question or discussion? Mrs. Sarah can you please call the vote? Yes. Um, Mrs. Winkler? Yes. Mrs. Gorov? Yes. Mrs. Bauer? Yes. Mrs. Brody? Yes. Mrs. Suriani? Yes. Uh, Dr. Kulikowski? Yes. Motion carries. Thank you, Dr. Mass. Thank you, Mrs. Saradaki. Oh, Mrs. Saradaki. Business functions. Yes. Uh, one BUS, I'm asking the board to approve the staff training report to July 14, 2021. Two BUS, I'm asking the board to approve Triform Construction Settlement for the construction work we had in the culinary arts classroom. And three BUS, I'm asking the board to approve the field light settlement um, with the uh, three neighbors that we were sued by for the field lights uh, regarding the hours of usage and light study and uh, other um, terms of the agreement. Okay. Items four BUS through seven BUS had them postponed until August. Thank you, Mrs. Sarah Jackson. Do we have a motion for the first three business items? So moved, Mrs. Ariane. Thank you, Mrs. Ariane. Second. Thank you, Mrs. Brody. Any question or discussion about those three items? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstaining? Motion carries. Thank you, Mrs. Sarah Jackson. That brings us to policies, Mrs. Winkler. There are no policies. Oh, no, there it is. Uh, oh, yeah. We're going to postpone that until August as well. Um, so, stay tuned. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Winkler. At our next meeting, we will be having the approval of minutes from June 7th. June 17th, open agenda meeting and its executive session. June 23rd, the public meeting and its executive session. And that brings us to the public comment portion of our meeting in accordance with Scotch Plains Family Public School Bylaw 0164-0165. The meeting will be open for 15 minutes for public comment. Three minutes maximum per speaker. Speakers addressing superintendent items, business functions, and other board business will be heard first. If time remains, speakers may address other matters. Speakers, when you please approach the podium, state your full name and the town in which you reside. Please note that board members cannot respond regarding concerns of individual students or staff members, and such matters should be addressed with the superintendent's office. So at this time, if there's anyone here that would like to make a public comment, please approach the podium, state your name and the town in which you reside. Good evening, my name is Nia Evans. I'm in Scotch Plains. I just wanted to thank um, Dr. Maxson Ford for the letter that was sent out this week regarding um, critical race theory and the good work that the district has started this year in bringing on Dr. Joshi. Um, my family has experienced um, some bumpiness, you know, in the education system in regards to sensitive, uh, racial sensitivity. And I think it's really, really important uh, the steps that the district has taken. And so I'm grateful for that and I look forward to doing hard work ahead and being part of it. Thank you, Mrs. Evans. Is there anybody else that's going to make a public comment tonight? Hello, everyone. I think you remember me, maybe from field hockey and approving it. Um, Please state I, your name. My name is Carly Kelly, and I'm from Scotch Plains. Thank you. And um, I just want to say thank you very much once again for approving the lights and for making it happen. Because I know this was a hard road that you all fought, and I 100% appreciate it. From my standpoint, which two of my daughters will be playing field hockey under the lights, um, and I just want to go back and Dr. McGarry from I grew up in Holmdel, and I played under the lights myself, and I actually coached under the lights, and these are two huge memories of mine. Um, so I am hoping to give that to my daughters and my two sons who will be coming up, and it is going to be amazing and I am so excited and thank you all so much for making this happen. Really, thank you so much. And I 
happy player here. Um, <laughs> she just came back from a college visit for playing field hockey, and I, she's going to say a few words why this is important to her. Please take your name and tell which you Hi, my name is Amelia Cicento, and I'm going to be a senior at the high school, and I'm captain of the varsity field hockey team. Uh, like Ms. Kelly said, I'm sorry for my sweaty, gross attire, however I am. <laughs> Recently, just coming back from a college visit, I just really wanted to make it here, as this is a really important topic to me. When they were putting in the lights a few years ago, I was very excited, hoping to get some field hockey games at night under the lights. I thought it would be an exciting thing, excited for the parents to come watch, for my school to come watch, for my friends to come watch, and unfortunately, due to the rules, we haven't been able to do that yet. And I understand with COVID, it brought some unprecedented times and just all this craziness. And I understand that because of that, it might not have been able to be possible last year. But I'm hoping for my upcoming senior season, it will be something that we're able to use. Um, after school games and practices are sometimes tough for parents to get to. I know that my parents have had to miss out on a lot of games due to like those four o'clock after school games and you know the small crowds and although it's still a season it's not as fun to be playing a game with like a small crowd you know when they're to support you and I know that if we were to get a couple night games under the lights I'd be able to have not just my parents come but like maybe some family members from other towns and you know more of my friends from my school might be able to come if it's not like right after school they could go home relax and be like oh like what there's a field hockey game tonight, like, let's go watch, like, let's go field hockey, you know? And it just is something that I'm really hoping to be able to use this fall season. And, and we also have to share the field with football, which is fine, but you know, it was, it's okay. But, you know, having the lights there as a tool we can use, we can, you know, have more, it gives us more field time. It gives us more chance to spread out the field and practice and use the field to our best advantage, making ourselves one of the strongest teams that we could ever be. And I just hope that after hearing this and with, after hearing this tonight, we have to say that hopefully we can reconsider and the lights can be something that we can use in our upcoming season as I'm really excited to hopefully maybe get some lights, some games under the lights this year for my last season at the high school. Thank you. Thank you. Hi everyone, um, I'm Kim Brown Gordo. I live in Scratch Plains and I have a about a ninth grader and an 11th grader. So, um, first, I'd like to say thank you very much for the letter about CRT. I really appreciate um, the transparent way that we're getting some of this information and it really shows their support for ensuring the representation and diversity of our country, our world, is represented and the truth of our history is represented in our students' education and our educators' education because everybody's learning however old they are and when you start them out young to open their minds to see facts versus narrative, it's really helpful and they just grow up to be great kids and great adults and can make a difference in this world that we really need. So, Thank you very much. And Thank you for your comments, Ms. Is there anybody else who would like to come up and make some public comments?
our, our next meeting will be Thursday, August 26th, which will be a regular public meeting at 7.30 here in the administrative building. 7.30 is for exec. 8 o'clock will be the public portion. Wednesday, September 22nd, open agenda meeting. Again, 7.30 for exec and 8 o'clock for the public portion. And Wednesday, September 29th, regular public meeting, 7.30 exec, 8 o'clock for the public portion. Those meetings are on Wednesday due to the back to school nights. So at this time, do we have any remarks for the good of the order? Mrs. Soriano. I just want to thank, is it Amelia? Yeah. <laughs> I want to thank Amelia for coming, the board. I mean, I think I could speak for the, for the board in saying that we always appreciate the student's point of view. Um, you know, we've had a lot of people over the years come out and speak either for the field lights or against the field lights and, and have different um, perspectives that they've presented. I've never personally ever heard anyone talk about like parents being able to come to a game. And so, you know, it really is so important to hear what our students have to say. It, these things, these decisions impact you more than anybody. And so, you know, you came from a game, you're tired, you didn't have to come, but thank you so much for coming and giving us your perspective. I, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Soriani. Is there anybody else for public comment? This is more. I would echo what Mrs. Soriani said, but I just uh, wanted to welcome our new business team and thank Mrs. Soriani once again. I wish her all the best. Yes, it's nice seeing the incoming and outgoing together at this one extra special meeting. Thank you, Mrs. Bamworth. Yes, I, I would just, oh, can I say one more yeah, thing? Yeah. I, for the, for the new VA, this is the shortest meeting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, yes. So don't think that we have 12 minute meetings because it's not happening. <laughs> so <laughs> like this is broken. Yeah, I just wanted to say um, to Amelia, thank you also because I have to say your enthusiasm um, makes this for me personally, and I'm sure the other board members all worthwhile. So thank you so much for that. It, it gives us uh, a, a hope, and that we're we're doing the right thing for the for the town. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Bartley. Any other remarks? And I, I thank the board members for coming out on this special meeting, and everyone else who's come out. You know, it was very timely to get some of these business items done right away. So that's why we built the special meeting. Mrs. Sorry, any other I just wanted to say one more thing. Yeah, seeing, seeing my friends out there, and um, Gina and Desiree, it reminded me that um, August 3rd is National Night Out in both towns. So just look out for advertisements about that in Downwood and Scotch Plains. Um, I've talked over the last couple of years that I'm the board liaison to Truth, Racial Healing, and Transformation. And um, we have some input this year. Um, we met with a couple of police officers and family just to give our input about what we can partner with on National Night Out. And we're in touch with the town of Scotts Plains as well to give a little bit of input. So it's time to, um, you know, I know in the, in the listening tours, people gave some feedback about um, education and about policing in our communities. Um, and so it'll be an opportunity to come out, meet the police officers in both of our towns and um, just come together that evening of August 3rd. So look out for advertisements about that. Thank you, Mrs. Sorian. And if I may? Yes, go ahead. I, I would just like to thank everyone who came out tonight. Hearing the voice of our parents and our students is certainly a very important part of my role and that of, of the board. So I just would like to take the opportunity to remind you, it's something that I know some of you in the audience have been very interested in, is our strategic planning. And those dates have been published, but it's not September 28th and October 19th. And also, Dr. Joshi is coming on October 6th to have a community conversation. So those are just important dates that I want to highlight, and I hope you can make those dates, too. Well, thank you, Dr. Okay, then, can I have a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you, Mrs. Coral. <laughs> Thank you, second. Mrs. Winkler. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. Motion carries. Good night, everyone. Good night.